In this video, we provide the solution to question number 17 for the practice final exam for Math 1050. And we have a mixture problem in front of us. We have that Mrs. Jones is going to invest $17,000 between two accounts. So that actually gives us right there the very first equation here. Um, let's say that she invests X dollars into the first account and she invests Y dollars into the second account. Then X plus Y would give us the $17,000, like so. Uh, so we know that this total combination of the mixture, but then the mixture will typically have some weight to it, right? So the first account, it, it accrues 5% interest per year, and then the other one, the other account has an APR of 6.5%. So just looking at that so far, we'll say that the first, the first account, it, it collects 5% interest. The second one collects 6.5% um, interest. So 5% of X gives us the interest from the amount we invested into the first account for the first year. And then the 6.5% of Y gives us the interest that we collected in dollars uh, from the second account, right? The total interest for the first year was $970. Um, so we end up with this. This is then our system of linear equations. Two equations, two unknowns, we can solve this. We can do it by substitution, elimination, we can use matrices. There's a lot of options here. The first thing I wanna do is actually clean up some numbers, right? If I move this decimal place over by three, I can do that to everywhere. So it's basically gonna times me by a thousand. Um, so what that does is give me a new second equation, x plus y equals 17,000, didn't do anything there. And the second equation will end up with 50x plus 65y is equal to, well, again, we're adding three zeros glue those zeros at the end. So we end up with 50X plus 65Y equals 970,000. Uh, so we just times the second equation by 1,000. But then after doing that, getting rid of the decimals, I noticed that everything's visible at five. Um, I could divide 50 by five, I could divide 65 by five, and then of course that's also divisible by five. Um, in which case, if we simplify the numbers, because that just makes it for cleaner arithmetic later on. We didn't do anything to the first equation. Five goes into 50 10 times, so we get a 10X. Um, we then five goes into 65, 13 times. So we get 13 Y and then five goes into 970,000. Uh, that happens 194,000 times. All right. Feel free to use a calculator to help you in said calculations. So now we have to decide how we want to solve this. Mixture problems work very well. Um, you could do elimination, uh, for which we could times everything in the first equation by negative 10. That's really nice because multiplication by 10 is super, super easy. Um, you could also do it by substitution. Um, if you could, you know, we could eliminate X, we could eliminate Y, it doesn't make much of a difference either way. Um, we could substitute, right? We could solve for X, we could solve for Y. Mixture problems have a very nice, uh, they're very nice in that regard, right? So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna do it by my first strategy. I wanna do this by um, elimination. The solution on the practice test did it by substitution. So if you wanna do that, you can check out the solution there, but I'm gonna actually times the first equation by negative 10. Uh, so what that does for us is we get negative 10x minus 10y is equal to negative 170,000, right? Multiplication by 10 is pretty easy. Um, then in the second equation, we have 10x uh, plus 13y is equal to 194,000. So then when we add these two equations together, the 10s will cancel out, the 10x's I should say. Uh, then you're left with the y's, 13y take away 10y will be a 3y, like so. And then if you have 194,000 take away 170,000, uh, you'll be left with 24,000 there. Divide both sides by three. You then end up with y is equal to that's how much was invested into the second account. How much was invested into the first account? Well, we should just plug in 8,000 into the first equation. That'd be the easiest one to solve for X. So notice here that X is equal to 17,000 minus Y, which is then 17,000 take away 8,000. And so that's gonna leave us with X is equal to $9,000. So 9,000 was invested at a rate of 5% and 8,000 was invested at a rate of 6.5%.